In a previous video, we covered Latvia's acquisition of the Patria Wheeled 6x6 Armoured Personnel Carrier, or APC. In that video, we went over the general history of the deal and highlighted that while Patria is very much a Finnish company, most of the 6x6 APCs for Latvia's National Armed Forces will be built in Latvia. With the Latvian military recently putting out a video discussing this local production, we thought we would cover this topic as well. I'm Matthew, and this is Baltic Defence Review. Through a technology transfer agreement with Patria, the 6x6 APCs are being assembled in Valmiera, Latvia, a town of over 20,000 residents. Many of the vehicle's components are also being manufactured in Latvia before heading to Valmiera to be put together. A company by the name of Defence Partnership Latvia, or DPL, has been established to do the job of producing the armoured vehicles. The partnership part of the name refers to the fact that it's a joint venture between Finland's Patria and Latvian company Unitruck, which operates in the metals industry. According to Patria, DPL will be providing maintenance, repair, system integration and logistics services to the Latvian Defence Forces. Back in 2021, four DPL technicians and a maintenance manager visited Patria's facilities in Finland and received preliminary information about the structure and manufacture of the vehicles. Patria also hosted welders from Latvian metal company SFM Latvia to receive training in Finland. The Latvian companies EMJ Metals and Metaro were also said to be involved in manufacturing components for the vehicles. The armoured vehicle's hull and hull parts are manufactured in Kiekava and Riga. The hatch covers, doors, other parts, floating devices, they are made in Saldus. The frame of the car is made in Jalgava. The Latvian Ministry of Defence notes that local production will increase security of supply for defence material and create the conditions required for development in the Latvian defence industry. It was also noted that this results in a more cost-effective and resilient supply chain, and so existing suppliers in Finland and new ones from Latvia will support operations in all of Patria's projects. The video put out by Latvia's military gives us a general idea of how the APCs are assembled, none of it being too surprising. It was mentioned that the frames or shells are delivered from EMJ Metals. These get filled with material in phases 1 through 5, the person in the video explains. Slowly turning into a vehicle, the engine and chassis are connected afterwards and the APC can move under its own power. It's explained that the vehicle must undergo pre-delivery testing, including 200 kilometers of driving on public roads. An additional 20 kilometers of off-road driving is required as well, and this is done within military training areas. Prior to getting onto public roads, however, the vehicle must pass some basic testing, which includes braking, steering, and suspension. Brakes are tested by having the vehicle drive up the 60% incline and then applying the handbrake. Brakes are further tested here, and it's explained that there must be no more than a 14% difference in braking power between the left and right wheels. The vehicle's amphibious abilities also put to the test, as you can see here. This includes ensuring that the interior is watertight and that its propellers and steering are in working order. Once everything is tested and approved, the vehicle is washed and painted with a camouflage pattern. Inspectors from the armed forces then do their own checks and officially take delivery of the vehicle. As we noted in our previous video, the Wellmira plant can produce a maximum of 160 Patria 6x6 armoured personnel carriers per year. However, for Latvia's order, the output rate is 30 Patria armoured vehicles per year, as the country has ordered more than 200 by 2029. If you'd like to learn more about Latvia's deal for the Patria 6x6, we invite you to check out that video next. So, with Latvia's hope of producing Patria 6x6s for export, which countries do you think would make good customers for the Wellmira built APCs? Let us know by leaving a comment. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.